To complete the derivative of the square root of 3x minus 4 times uh, parentheses 2x plus 1 raised to the 6th power, uh, the first step that I would do would be to rewrite using algebra so that I don't have the square root sign there anymore. So I would rewrite this as in parentheses 3x minus 4 times 2x plus 1 raised to the 6th power. And that would be raised to the 1 half power because that all used to be underneath the square root. Um, now we need to stop and think before we do on the derivative. Uh, we sometimes can ask ourselves if any sort of algebra could make our lives uh, simpler. And while it would be nice for this 4 that's sitting out, set out front of the parentheses to be able to be distributed, the fact that that power is raised to the, or that factor is raised to the 6th power prevents us from being able to dis just distribute the 4 inside that factor. Uh, so there's really not a whole lot we can do. We can't split up the square root into different terms. Um, we're really left with this being uh, what we have unless we want to raise that thing to the sixth power, which is not advisable. And so when we're looking at this, the whole thing is something ugly raised to the one-half power. However, the something ugly that's inside there itself has this second term after the subtraction sign that is also somewhat ugly. And so this function requires chain um, within a chain. So we've got um, to start on the outside and work our way in. So when we're taking the derivative, we have f prime of x equals, uh, we bring down this power of 1 half, and the whole thing that's inside the parentheses there, the 3x minus 4 times 2x plus 1 raised to the 6th power, uh, now has um, the power 1 half minus, and I'm going to write it as 2 halves so that you know that we're going to be decreasing by 1. Um, but then we're not done because this part here is the ugly part that's inside, and we need to pull out its derivative. And so when we take its derivative, itself is going to be fairly involved. So we've got the derivative here of uh, 3x minus 4 times 2x plus 1 raised to the 6th power. Okay, So we've made progress. The derivative here is 1 half times this long um, inside function. And then the 1 half minus 2 halves would then be the power negative a half. Um, and multiplied by it, we've got to uh, take the derivative here of the 3x minus 4 times uh, something in parentheses to the 6th power. So what I notice is the overall thing is a subtraction. And so we can use the difference rule to take the derivative of the term before the subtraction, and then we can subtract the derivative of what falls after the subtraction. So the derivative of the term 3x is um, simply 3. Uh, and then we've got to take the derivative of um, this other thing that involves the chain rule. So we have the 3 minus 4. Now we've got this chain rule here for the, um, the second term. So that minus 4 part is really our constant multiple part. We've got the 4 times um, the 6 that comes from the power that we bring down front. And then we have the 2x plus 1, and then the new power is uh, the 6 minus 1, which would be 5. And we've got to complete this by completing the chain rule here. So we would have the derivative there of the inside, so it would be the ddx of 2x plus 1. Which we can take to finish off. So let's see, our derivative at this point is 1 half times the long set of parentheses to the negative 1 half. And then what we have multiplied by is a 3 minus, our 4 times 6 would be um, 24. And then we have the 2x plus 1 to the 5th. And then we need to multiply it by the derivative of 2x plus 1. So that derivative is the derivative of 2x, which is just 2, plus again, the derivative of 1 would be 0. So that would complete our final derivative. We can do just a tad bit more cleanup that wouldn't be too uh, complicated to 
do to make our life look or to make our answer look a little bit nicer. We could have the um, the 24 here and the 2 that's here be multiplied together. And so we could complete it by um, making that the 48 that's sitting out front to finish us off here.